Hey you guys, and welcome in. We're going to be looking at my lemon tree that, if you've watched this channel for a while, that I've been growing in my living room. This lemon tree has got what's called scale bugs twice since I've had it. Um, one time, originally, it came with it, unfortunately. They were already, it was already infected when I bought it and I did not see it. And then unfortunately, while it was growing at the beginning stages, it had infected another plant with scale bugs. And then I had totally gotten them off of the lemon tree with this technique that I have. And now, unfortunately, that other plant gave the scale bugs back to my lemon tree. So today we're going to eradicate the scale bugs. I'll give you guys some pictures of them, what they look like. Uh, scale bugs are one of those, it's a very flat, brownish, tannish looking they don't move a lot they don't move period once they find their home they basically anchor a big spike into your tree bush plant whatever it might be that they're getting into and they just anchor themselves there and that's where they live for the rest of their lives they do breed and then when the young are mature the young will live under the shell of that scale bug and then once they're old enough and are ready to move out on their own well then they branch out and find a place to anchor themselves and that's where they spend the rest of their lives. It's it's a crazy business and we're gonna eradicate them today. The lemon tree has finally put on a lemon. Now it's been in my house for a year and a half now and it put on a lemon and now it's starting to put flowers on and as I look at this thing the scale books are just getting crazy. So we're going to basically begin by washing the scale bugs off of the lemon tree. I'm going to have to go leaf by leaf, branch by branch, and wash every single one of these guys off of the tree. It's a pain in the ass. I may have to do it a couple different times just to make sure I get them all. You know, I'll probably have to do it, clean them all off, and then get my jeweler's loop out and go looking for them. Look for the small ones that I've missed, and then do it again. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to treat the tree with first an alcohol treatment. Uh, isopropyl alcohol, either the 70 or the 90 percent. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, either one of them works good. Um, I've used them in the past. And then we're also going to do a hydrogen peroxide treatment on it. And then last but not least, we're going to finish it off um, with a real heavy neem, neem oil treatment uh, with some Dawn dish soap in it. So we'll mix up the neem oil and then we'll just put a couple drops of Dawn dish soap in it. Um, and that will really help finish these guys off. So when they're adults, the scale bugs that is, you can't really suffocate them with the neem oil to begin with uh, because they're already anchored to the plant and they're already feeding off the plant and it just doesn't quite work that way. They just won't. It doesn't do what you want it to do. Um, the neem oil though, and the oil in it, because you're basically putting that on there and trying to suffocate that bug, uh, it will work on the young and the alcohol will work on the young and that's what you're really trying to stop is the young from moving about the tree and <coughs> infecting new areas so that's what we're trying to avoid today we're going to wash it down from stem to stern we're going to treat it with alcohol we're going to treat it with hydrogen peroxide and then last but not least we're going to treat it with neem oil with a little bit of dish soap in it um, and that's a it, it really works i've done it before with this tree and not one scale bug got for almost a year and then that other plant unfortunately um, they were able to move from that other plant what's sad is they don't really jump they don't move they don't do any of that kind of stuff and the young are very slow and methodical in the way they move um, unfortunately my palm that I had that got infected basically just got moved into uh, my lemon tree and then that started the process um, of course, at the beginning, you really can't see them. You know, they're real small. The young are real small. And, you know, you just there's just nothing you can do about it. You just don't see them, unfortunately. Unless you get a jewelry loop out or a microscope of some sort. You know, and really go looking on the surface. And I did not do that, unfortunately. So here we are. We have a full-on blown infection of scale bugs on my Eureka lemon tree. And we're going to eradicate them today. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, there's not really a big, it's not really a big deal. Um, it's, it just takes time. 
leaf by leaf we're going to wash these things off branch by branch we're going to wash these things off and we're going to do our best to try to not damage um, the leaves on the tree and try try to not damage the tree itself as we do this that's the only way I know how to get them off and to eat them off uh, consistently so that they don't come back all right I'm gonna flip the camera around I'm gonna show you what these little guys look like and and then we'll go to town all right here we go That's what they do. You see those dew drops and those speckles of dew all over the leaf? Well, when that scale bug anchors itself and puts that spike into your leaf, um, it then, it's byproduct basically as it sucks the life out of your plant is that dew. Um, that's how you kind of know that these things are attacking your plant because of how much, how much sap and how much dew is coming off your leaf. And you can see these guys are absolutely raided this tree, so to speak. It's gotten really, really bad. And we're going to fix it. See them all along the stalks there? I mean, and that's some of the reason why it's never filled out. Because of all the scale bugs basically sucking the life out of it and really slowing the progress of this tree down. All right, I'm going to put you in the holder and you're going to watch me go to town on this thing and clean it. I'm just going to use my fingers. I mean, you could use a real soft brush, try that, but I'm going to use my fingers and we're basically just going to go leaf by leaf and rub them off and scrape them off the leaves themselves. That's how it worked best last time. All right, you guys, here we go. I realized pretty quickly as I did this for 20 minutes or so with my fingers that it would be a lot more appropriate if I got say a small toothbrush. So I'm gonna roll in the house and go get a small toothbrush and clean these leaves little by little with the toothbrush and that worked phenomenally. I think I got all of the small little tiny speckles of bugs. I think it was just better at getting more of the micro bugs off of it you know things that I really couldn't see um, when I looked at the surface under the loop of the leaf itself after I'd cleaned it I realized that it did a much better job that way than it would have than I would have done if I would have used just my fingers alone so I highly suggest using the toothbrush the toothbrush is, is a good tool um, and it doesn't really damage the leaf and it really takes the bugs off of uh, the leaf surface correctly. But as you can see, um, it's quite the process. Um, right now I'm using the water hose, but later on um, I basically just got a spray bottle uh, with water and I went along leaf by leaf so I wasn't wasting water. I felt like I was wasting water uh, doing it this way. Um, and you're not going to see me use the spray bottle, but later on in the process, that's what I ended up doing. And it worked really good. You know, we got through it, but it is a painstaking process to do this. And here we go. This is the tree, treated, cleaned. I don't know if you can see the leaves. You know, the neem oil really adds a sheen to the leaf. Uh, as well as a coating to protect it. I tell you, you do all that scraping on the leaves um, and then you let it all dry out, you can see that you've really taken uh, a pretty good coating of stuff off of that leaf and it's good to add a, another coating of something and the neem oil works really well for uh, adding a little more protection to that leaf so that it can hold up and do what it needs to do 
by creating photosynthesis. There's a few little uh, lemons that it's putting on. So I think it has to a total of four lemon flowers, which are going to produce hopefully four lemons. And then you can see down there my one big lemon that it put on. All right, you guys, thanks for spending some time with me. Please like and subscribe. You know, that's what makes it all go around. And thank you. I appreciate you always. Bye now.